Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your, of course, your live reading, okay? So for people who are new to this channel, um, we record with live audience, audience participation, and then we re-upload this so that everybody can see it. So that's how it works. Uh, if you are new, I also do um, Tarot, is right here, together with Sidereal Astrology, which is here, okay? And this is the... This is where I put the chart and I will show it to you guys also at the same time right here. Okay, so we're just waiting for everybody to trickle in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot of people in the room already. I think we are ready to go. Okay, So um, before we start, for all the Gemini who is here, you can watch, of course, based on your Ascendant Sun or Moon sign if you want to with Tarot. But once I talk about astrology, that's more based on Ascendant and Moon sign. And again, it is sidereal. Okay. Um, now, today, um, before we get uh, cozy, um, do check out, where's the Gemini one? Where's the Gemini? I can't find it. Okay, I think, where's the twins? The twins is always giving me a headache. Okay, where is it? I don't know where it is. Is it on the other side? Give me one second, guys. So this is the Zodiac. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is the Zodiac. Okay. I have a paninda, we'll call it. Okay. Zodiac Astro Remedy Tools. It's available now. Okay. Now, um, these are for only for pre-orders. It's two to four, two, three to four weeks before you can have it when we make it for you. Okay. So you can check it out. I, I place it already in the description box below. Mm -hmm. And our products here are very, very high-end. So only if you are high-end, then we are connecting. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. It's not. It's for everyone. It's for everyone. Now, these are remedy tools. I will talk about it more in other videos. Um, but yeah, so let's begin. Okay. So how is everybody in there? I'm not ignoring you in the room. Okay. I'm just denying you of attention. Okay. <laughs> If you take it, if you take me seriously, then you are in the wrong dimension. You are having a dementia, okay? Because nothing is to be taken seriously with Sal, okay? So let's begin. But the Gemini knows about that already. Geminis are easy to get along with. I love my Gemini. Oh, I bumped into a Gemini actually the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, more like three weeks. For me, other days like three weeks ago. <laughs> okay. Bring in the charts, Sal. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. I advanced the I advanced the calendar to the 17, but this is being recorded with live audience on the 16. Okay. I just have to stress that this is live audience, just like op Oprah and other show. Okay. Sal, so what generation are you? Because Ellen is already the show and Ellen is already ending the show. <laughs> True. Okay. I'm Kelly Clarkson then. Okay, here we go. So, Mercury is about to go direct before I start the shuffle. Mm -hmm. At Lagna Lord, that's you, Gemini, right there. And now it affects your fourth house, house of comfort. Once it goes direct, it's going to come back to Libra. But stationary first, give it five days before you can feel good again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Because the retrograde, it just brings a lot of things that you probably denied because it's the Lagna Lord. It can be about physical health, all these things that you were thinking about recently. Um, a lot of big ideas, but now you're saying it's like, okay, fine, I'm not going to buy that car. Okay, I'm not going to buy that house because uh, it's place of comfort. Maybe trying to change, um, you know, sheets is going to be good as always. This is where you sleep. It's very good if you change sheets, okay? So that's one thing that you need to understand with Mercury. It's the lord of your fourth house, house of comfort. Mm -hmm. So Mercury for you is very, very good. Hands, I use green. You see that? These are Mercury collection, okay? But with, of course, this one is with Piao. You guys know I work with um, with the with the Piao also. So do check it out, okay? I was talking about this the whole time, okay? I'm making this uh, prediction because you guys are very, I mean, you guys are the one who's going to be impacted. Plus, of course, Virgo with Mercury going direct because this is your Ascendant Lord. Not everybody gets affected by transits, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. That's why a lot of people ridicule astrology. Well, one, they they don't know astrology. That's why they ridicule it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so everybody's like this because they said no. 
There's a point system, darling, okay? That's why nobody likes to hang out with you. You put shame on astrology. The only thing you're not getting is like soon everybody knows astrology and you still don't know your chart. Excuse you, okay? That's what I'll say, okay? So for people who doesn't know their chart yet, get your chart in the description box. There is no shame in getting your chart. There's only enlightenment, okay? Nobody says I'm ashamed, so I just don't have the money. You're expensive, true. But you know quality is it read love. That's the difference, okay? That's the difference right there. It is not expensive. It is quality, okay? That's a good Venusian right there, which Venus right now is in Scorpio, okay? We can settle for a kind of a secret romance if this is the thing for you, okay? <laughs> but since it's in the sixth house for you, then health, work life is what has been such a struggle. Do I really love what I do or I just want to quit? <laughs> exactly. Lord of the fifth house, are you happy still at work, right? Because Venus, this is fifth house, you're trying to see, it's like, well, am, I, am I still happy at work, Sal? Well, how come I'm not feeling my day to day? Don't worry, Kato is the one tormenting you. You just haven't had enough sleep. You're overthinking the situation. You love what you do. You just haven't gotten enough rest. Because Rahu is tormenting you when you go to bed. 100 people in the room. Hi, guys. Okay? So let's begin. <laughs> let's begin. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Fifth House, Lord of the Fifth House, which is Bagia House, and which is Lord of the Ninth House for you? Lord of the Ninth House for you is Saturn. Okay, there we go. Look at the monitor. Okay. So I, sometimes I should look at the monitor instead of this. True. Okay. So, um, so Saturn is the rule, the rule of your wishes for wishing wish fulfillment, which chances are, if I have to be honest, if you want to make bank, okay, meaning with regards to getting opportunities, doors opening, that would be middle of next year. <laughs> you ask me, <laughs> and I answered, okay. So nine of cups with the empress, but gorgeous time for the Gemini. Mm-hmm. Nine of Cups here with the uh, with the Empress. So it shows here. Oh, thank you very much for the supernova, Katrina. Okay, um, with the Empress and the Nine of Cups, uh, this shows that you okay, you're you're gonna be in a repair mode, relationship wise. You will feel a lot of attention and attraction. I don't do timeless reading. Timeless is useless. It will never manifest at a specific time. So maybe 20, 30 years. Who knows if it even manifests. So this attraction that you will get. So let me bless you with Jyotish right here, with the knowledge of the Vedas right here. When Venus is in the seventh house for you, because Venus is a natural ruler of partnership. So it's going to go retrograde in uh, Sidereal Sagittarius by December. So romance-wise, romance, romance -wise, it's best that, you know, you wait for December, plain and simple. I'm not looking at other planets, okay? Mm. But you may, you may find yourself wanting to sleep with people or you remove people already because Rahu is in Kritika. So you find like, you know, you know what? I'd, I'd rather be celibate. Mm -hmm. Celibate, good times, come on. You also get live singing here in live audience. Okay. <laughs> I, I sing with tips. So you can tip me if you want me to sing different album. The Adele one, the latest one. I don't know yet. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups here with the Empress. Someone likes you, younger person, charming. Let's leave it like that. Okay, um, they've been in and out of your life. Okay, they haven't really said yes or no. They haven't really settled with like, do, they, do this person sell really, really like me, or they're just flirting. When the sun go, when sun goes Libra right here, which is debilitation of uh, sun. Okay, and it's the ruler of your third house. Wait, I wrote this in my blog. Oh, so you haven't checked out the blog? Oh, when then you have to go to the website etreadlove.me. And I put there in your chart, Lord of the third house, okay, goes to the fifth house. Leo is your third house. It goes to your fifth house. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because Gemini ascendant right here. One, two, oh, one, two, yeah, three. Okay. No, my teleprompter looks at me like I'm confused. So I'm not confused. Okay. <laughs> or my teleprompter is just sleepy. Okay. <laughs> It made me confused. <laughs> made me doubt. Okay. Thank you very much, Mystic Gigi. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So when the the third house, Lord of Courage and Will for you, goes to your fifth house, you start to question 
your dating life. <laughs> Sam, why am I not lucky? I don't know. I really don't know until we read your chart. When we interpret it for you, you will be done watching Tarot. You will have a life outside there. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. When I started reading Tarot, I was all about Tarot. But of course, I learned astrology. And now I live my life like, oh my God, you know? Oh my God, exactly. So get your chart. It's in the description box below. Okay. So do check it out. Knight of Cups, they haven't settled with you, right? Mercury can be even young, okay? Did you know that if you have Mercury in the 12th house, you may even get married with someone who's young, but then the young becomes naive. Foreign person, if you put Mercury there also. Long distance relationship, seven, uh, the, the Lagner Lord, okay? So that's a, easy to see. All this is a, easy to see, you know? Mm. Knight of Cups. You had a page of ones. Eee. <laughs> this is when. All right, let me be honest. I've seen this post, okay? It took you two and a half hours to get ready for the date, okay? Mind you, that hair of yours, okay, took an hour to set. That makeup of yours, which is gorgeous and divine, took an hour also to set. How long does it set all these things, okay? And this person comes to you, okay? Page of Wands, okay? And this is a, this is a nice dinner, Okay, wearing cargo shorts, cargo shorts, Sal, cargo pants, Sal, page of ones. Okay, <laughs> like the person didn't even put F for it, they didn't put F, cargo pants, Sal. What was the shoes? It's not even Birkenstock, Sal, it is even worse, Sal. Crocs with socks, Sal, Crocs with socks. That's a page of ones, so. Not that I don't like Crocs. I do have a cargo pants. <laughs> I do like to wear socks, okay. But I don't wear it on when we're meeting someone who's an empress. Where is the respect to Venus? To you. Where is the respect? If the masculine that you're connecting with, one, emotionally on and off, page of wands takes you for granted. You are all made up over here. Excuse you, Louboutins, right? And then you see them in Crocs, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with Crocs. I'm using that as a reference, okay? People be, if I offended anyone who's wearing Crocs today, okay? What I want to know, why are you wearing it? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, now I'm not a mean person. I am a comedian in real life, okay? Punchline, laugh line, Tomas Morato. Okay, it's close already, Sal. Okay, here we go. You got a King of Swords, Ace of Wands right here. Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay. So these are more cards that we're gonna read and we're gonna read further in the extended. Okay. But I didn't realize I spent so many time so long now to you. This is recorded live. I'm gonna get an oracle before you guys go. Okay, and for the 180 people who is here live, this is your extra. I will read further in extended. Link down there in the description box. This is going to be re-uploaded. This is just recorded live so that I can interact with everybody who's been supportive. The 190 people here and the 192 who is late. Okay, here we go. Lord Ganesha is giving you steadfastness. Okay, I feel like steadfastness is a big word for me. To give to you today at early on Saturday. Okay. So we would see what the steadfast mean. I believe, okay. I believe there's so many things in the world in the world. Okay. There's so many chances in our life that we can explore while I we are looking for the meaning of steadfastness. Okay. But you are mercurial and you are smart, Gemini. I will give this to you. Google the meaning of stead. I'm not lying. I don't know the meaning. Oh, I don't mean. I don't know the meaning. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're we're going. We're digging deep. Okay. <laughs> of stead. I know to be like steadfast love is consistent, isn't it? Okay. Ah, uh, directed fixed direction. Okay, there you go. So the direction. Okay. So being steadfast is like there is a direction. The relationship that this is that you're going into, I'm not sure of the direction because Eight of Swords, you're confused. Nine of Wands, they're defensive. Okay. Firm in purpose is steadfast. Okay. According to Lord Ganesh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands, they're defensive when you talk to them, when you know that you're like, listen, I'm putting effort here. There are Nine of Wands, King of Swords right here. They become cold and distant for no reason. 
on and off, hot and cold. Ace of Wands, when they want you, they want you, and you're you're like here. Empress is like you're available to them. Mm -hmm. So link down there in the description box below for the extended. Make sure to check out, of course, Gemini, your Astro Remedy box. Okay, your Zodiac. This is based on your Zodiac. You can get it on your base, on your Sun sign, Moon sign. Okay, Ascendant sign. You can check it out. Okay, it takes three to four weeks for us to make it. And I will leave you guys today with this wonderful message. I'll see you guys again. Bye, Gemini.